They say this cat shaft is a bad mother. I'm talking about shaft. He's a complicated man, but no one understands him but his woman. What's up, you crazy YouTubers? It's Mike from the Autograph Network, aka The Godfather, coming to you with a big recap video. You guys haven't seen me in a little bit, and there's a reason for that. I'll get into that in one second. But I do have some amazing TTMs. Um, if you guys watch the intro, I added a little uh, little flash animation, and it says, this is why I collect, and uh, today's a perfect example of why I collect. I love the stuff that I get in. So, um, anyways, guys, you guys haven't seen a lot from me because... I uh, came to the realization that I was spending way too much time online and just sitting in front of my computer between the website, uh, YouTube, Facebook, emails, everything. And uh, when I was doing that, I was, you know, eating bad and I let some things slide in my personal life, which, you know, mainly my health. Um, when I do that, I get lots of headaches and I just I did feel bad about myself. So um, at night, instead of making daily YouTube videos, I'm starting to work out again and I'm starting to feel great. So. Um, probably won't see daily videos from me, but it's nothing personal, guys. It's just I'm getting getting back to, to real life stuff, and uh, that means, you know, exercising. So, anyways, let's get on to the autographs, because that's what you guys are here. Um, one trade, this is from the Facebook forum that our buddy Top Shelf TTM Jonathan put together. Uh, this is from Joseph. Completed a trade, and this is my end of the deal. I got a Ozzy Smith signed card that was in person. This is a 88 Tops, uh, I think it's a bazooka, it's kind of a smaller card, but uh, signed by the Wizard. So a nice addition to the collection, it's pretty awesome. And again guys, now onto the TTMs. This is why I collect and uh, love the stuff I get in, a whole wide range of stuff. Uh, we'll just go over this once, no postmark because they're barcoded, and here we go. Uh, nice. Baseball return, 1968 Tigers. Um, as I throw them on the ground. Signed a couple things for me here. This is Dick McAuliffe. Signed card here. This is the old Swell Baseball Greats. So sign that, that's awesome. And two photos. This is from the 68 series facing Bob Gibson, which is just awesome. Bob Gibson, one of the most feared pitchers in baseball. And here's just a cool shot. This is uh, old Dick charging the mound. Uh, I wasn't sure if he'd sign it, but that's a pretty cool shot. So glad he did. So very cool. Always glad to add anybody from the, uh, the Tigers championship team. So uh, next one. I want to thank uh, my buddy Ryan, uh, Rye Inc. I think he was the first person to get this person in. So, um, amazing story. And you guys know I love my World Trade Center history. Um, this guy, <laughs> big part of it. This is Philippe P Petit. And basically in 1974, he walked a tightrope across the Twin Towers. Uh, this one's to me and with the date, signed it. Philippe Petit. So there he is actually walking a tightrope. No safety net, no nothing. Uh, highly illegal. <laughs> Got arrested for it, but um, pretty amazing photo. And I believe there was a movie, and I think this is a book, but Man on a Wire. So there, this is the cover. This would be him looking down between the Twin Towers. Amazing shot. Uh, 1974. Uh, 1,350 feet up, the artistic crime of a century, and they signed it. So awesome. If you guys don't know anything about this, please Google it. And this is just an amazing piece of artwork that I found, and I'm happy that he signed this. But uh, So it's got the tightrope walker, New York City in the background, but look what's missing. Yet the Twin Towers are gone. So this is obviously after 9-11. Just an amazing uh, piece of artwork. So that's very cool. That's awesome. So very cool. Nice addition there. 
Um, this one's <laughs> this one's cool because I love this movie. Sign two of three. This is actor uh, Terry Kaiser. You probably don't recognize the name, but you might recognize the movie. Oh yeah, Weekend at Bernie's. He played Bernie. It's actually a really funny movie, and he actually, pardon the pun, but he brought that character to life, so, uh, very cool. Signed it, uh, to Archer, as always, Terry Kaiser, and signed it Bernie. And you can't have Weekend at Bernie's without Weekend at Bernie's 2, so he signed the second movie poster. And he's just, he's just one of those character actors. Here's the one he didn't sign with, uh, Carol Burnett. Which is too bad, but hey, I will definitely take the weekend at Bernie posters. Um, very cool. Olympic return here. Signing two or three also. I believe the first U.S. woman... I'll have to double check. Um, but it's Diana Lopez. So very cool shot there. I can't remember if she medaled this year or not. Or in London and sign that one very cool and actually her brother is part of the uh, US team also so very cool didn't sign that one but that's all right uh, next one very cool if you heard the theme music tonight you will recognize this man signing two of three seems to be a trend this is Richard Roundtree and of course he played Shaft so pretty cool art shot there and sign the shaft poster awesome um, and there was a couple sequels shafts big score <laughs> didn't sign that one but that's alright I'll take the shaft poster awesome uh, Stacy just got this in so I know it's part of Project Deja Vu old old return didn't get my photos but I got a nice index card, very clean autograph from Don Rickles, a great comedian, which I can always turn that into a matte piece. Of course, I would like my photos, but hey, I will take that. So uh, that was out there a long time. So happy to get that back. Uh, very cool. This is a comic book artist. Awesome stuff. Uh, this is Arthur Sedan. And he's pretty famous for his artwork with Batman. He signed it right down there. It's a cool Batman shot and he's very well known for doing the Marvel zombies where he zombifies all the Marvel characters and signed it down there. And he drew a little sketch here. So awesome. That's pretty cool. And last one, guys, this is why I collect. Um, all right, guys, I got to splice this in my, uh, my camera cutout, so I don't know where this cut off. So I'm going to redo this one. Again, guys, this is why I collect. Um, this is one of those TTMs that the guy went above and beyond, so he'll definitely be getting a thank you letter for what he sent. Um, I did send some 8x10s. That's why it's in this envelope. And most of you guys have probably never heard of this person, but it's a pretty awesome return from Matt Bush. And uh, he's, a, he's an artist, and he's a well-known artist, and he does a lot of Star Wars return or Star Wars art. And they have a big celebration down in Orlando every year, and he did a remake of all, the, all three original posters for Celebration down in Orlando. So I made an 8x10 with all three posters on there. Uh, I got the original Empire and Return of the Jedi. So he's got some amazing artwork on there. I also did uh, artist cards for the top series. So these were inserted in like packs. So pretty awesome. There's his signature. And there's what Matt looks like. Cropping's off a little bit, but that's Matt Bush right there. So that's one. Uh, he also did a zombie version of all the Star Wars posters. So I decided to do episode one, two, and three, the zombies. So if you can see that, 
Episode 1, Episode 2, Episode 3, All Zombies. Uh, he also did The Clone Wars, and it's now The Corpse Wars, All Zombies, the cartoon series that was on Cartoon Network. Signed it, and of course there's the card of Matt. So those are the two 8x10s that I sent him. I also sent one 4x6 because I love this photo. Uh, he did a series called Hollywood is Dead, but it's got Marilyn Monroe on it. And if you guys know me, I love Marilyn Monroe, so I had him sign that one. Put the red border around it, so I sent this. So that's what I sent him. Now here's what he sent me. Um, let's start with a couple of postcards. Uh, you guys can check out mattbush.com. Check out his artwork. It's amazing. Uh, gives gives some information. I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to check it out. But he does some amazing, amazing art. Uh, again, another postcard. Just gives some information. Uh, Illustration Nation. Pretty cool. Check out mattbush.com. Uh, again, mattbush.com. Planet Matt in text. Okay. Um, sent a Hollywood is Dead like bumper sticker. That's awesome. And here's a Hollywood is Dead postcard with the Marilyn Monroe picture and Toy Gory. So he basically like zombifies a bunch of Hollywood stuff. So that's awesome. Uh, he did send this one, uh, Hollywood Heart Attack, and at a gallery. So this is a postcard, but he signed this one. So that's awesome. And here's some amazing stuff. Oh wait, one more. Mattbush.com. Sent me a sticker there. Okay, so he sent three cards. Artist Lindsay. I believe that's his either his girlfriend or his fiance now. But she had a Star Wars card made up. Artist profile. Looks just like one of the original cards. That's awesome. And she signed it down there. He sent me one of the Matt Bush Star Wars cards that I had on my picture. Signed. And he is a honorary stormtrooper and the Five hundred first, the Great Lakes Legion. So it's like all the guys that dress up as stormtroopers. So he's an honorary member. So that's pretty awesome. Sign that. Um, he also sent this from two thousand two magazine of the Autograph Times, which he is featured on not only the front cover with his illustration but his art is on the back cover all star wars and he signed it it's got an amazing article in it that's awesome and he didn't stop there uh if you guys check out his website he's got this dvd on his uh, website for sale how to draw star wars how awesome is that this is volume three normally i'd keep this sealed up it's got the wrap around it. That's too awesome. I gotta check it out. Um, so above and beyond. It's amazing when people take the time to do stuff like this to say thank you to their fans. Matt Bush is an amazing artist, does some amazing work for Lucas and uh, the Star Wars franchise, but I wouldn't consider him a rich and famous uh, artist. Um, he's definitely well known, but for him to send all this stuff and include extra postage, that's awesome. Um, definitely, I am thankful and I am very grateful. So uh, if, if somebody does something like this for you, be thankful, be grateful, and uh, be very respectful of it too. Um, like I'm not going to throw this on eBay saying, ooh, sign Matt Bush. 
Oh, DVD. Come get it. I know I'm not turning this into profit. This is for my personal collection. I consider this a gift from Matt Bush. I will write him a thank you letter. Uh, thank you for taking time to, to make a fan's day because that's that's what this is about. Uh, I think I think it's awesome when people take the time to sign photos. They don't have to. We write to people and, and I hope you guys say please and thank you in your letters and when something like this happens take the time to, to write a, another letter just saying thank you. Um, I think that's really what collecting is about for me is getting something like this in and just being like wow that's that's pretty awesome. So anyways I have rambled on enough. This is probably my one video for at least a few days and uh, we'll see what comes in but wanted to share this with you guys and anyways Mike from the Autographs Network and now you know. Thank you.